Okay guys, I've been uh, getting my mountain bike ready for uh, the winter. Uh, it's an old thing, put winter tires in it. And I was uh, the other day trying to clean out the uh, the bearings here. Now to do that, I had to re-grease some stuff. I had to get this thing free wheel off. Now to get one of these free wheels off on a cheap mountain bike, there's other ways where you have a little chain whip and a, another tool. With this one, it's, it's all complete. In a concept, you get a special tool like this. It's got little splines on it, little nut thing. Put it on there, put on the uh, the road wheel to uh, stop it uh, coming off and then you get yourself a really big spanner like this and then you have to get hustle with a muscle like Chuck Norris on crack because this thing's done up real tight. Okay so I uh, got this thing off just get a closer look it's just sort of bits like this has got some little uh, uh, threads here which go onto the side here. Now when I was doing it I tried the uh, tried to do the old uh, Here's a Konami technique, but that doesn't work. So what I did, I just did a simple good old armbar. But uh, in the process, I uh, broke one of the spokes. It's just here, if I get uh, closer, it's just popped out one of the holes. So I've been looking around for a replacement spoke and as I'm a, a cheap type person, I uh, found an old wheel and cannibalized the spoke. So I'm gonna remove this. Fortunately, this was loose. So just a... Uh, so I'll just uh, show you what I'm doing. I'm just uh, unfreading it like this. And that comes off. Okay, now, so I'm gonna get a replacement spoke and I'll show you how to replace it. Okay. So, here's the, the, the broken spoke and where it broke is off on the end here. And uh, so I went to a wheel, I've got, I've got the wheel here, so I'm gonna do a demonstration. And I've got a couple of spokes. Um, now these spokes, um, the, the main spoke is the right length here. Okay, so what I do is just compared it to that length there and then checked it on the end. Um, and I think, yeah, yeah. This, this one was a little bit, just a couple of mil over. So I've got another one from the inside wheel. I had to take the free wheel off the, the wheel that I was taking off. I managed to get one the exact right length. So that is bang on the exact right length. Okay, and uh, there is a difference between the, the two spokes only by about, so you have the two new spokes that I pulled off, or second hand spokes, should we say, and there's a difference within like, you know, three or four mil, and that would make a difference because that punch of the tube. Um, and now, this type of uh, spoke is called a J, a J band, which basically it sort of broke off, and that's it. Another place that it breaks, the other place it can break off is at the nipple. It broke off here. Okay, <clears throat> so I've got the right, the right spokes. Now the the other one type of spoke you can get is called a, a pull through. Basically, that is sort of straight and it just pulls through. Um, and they're actually sometimes very difficult to get. There's, these are more common. Um, I have heard some one guy. On the YouTube, when I was researching this, he he was uh, out touring, and one of his spoke, um, spokes broke. So what he did is he bought a J bend, got a pair of pliers, and then just put it on, straightened it, and then used that. But uh, obviously, that's going to be affected by the length. So ideally, they recommend if you've got one of those sort of hubs to actually have a few spares and stick them on the handlebar of the bicycle. But not everybody's got straight handlebars, so you'd have to find other ways in the seat post or in a backpack or whatever or a carrier um so ideally having the j-band spokes are ideal now if you can't find a spoke the right length i'm going to show you a technique which is called a z-band and i saw this in the reader's digest repair manual so what i'm going to do is just going to straight this out Oop. i'm trying to get this uh, straight as i can Oop. Yeah. He says, <laughs> let's just do it that way. Okay, so to show you a technique that you can do if you need, so what you do is you, if, to do a Z band, you'd get a um, spoke longer than you'd need, and you'd probably put it put it there on a, say a, something like that, and you'd bend something like that in it. And there we go, further down. So and um, 
can, can do it. I'll try and get the, the pliers to bend it, bend it round. So you would create something along the lines of that. And obviously we'll just uh, trim up the size. He says. <laughs> oh, that's better. So you would create something like that and I'm going to show you how you would fit that to a wheel. So I've got the uh, broken wheel here and I'll, uh, or the wheel that I got the spares from. And okay guys, just to show you the Z band, so I've got it here. How you would do is you put this, this end here through the hole and it'll fit in like that. And then you'd base it up. Uh, if we go from the other side, just to show you how it's done. So if I was threading through the other side, I'd uh, obviously have to thread it through the hole, he says. <laughs> and then, as you can see, just there, that's how it would hold. But then you take it up to the thread it, lace it into the wheel, thread it up and you tie it up, and then you true the wheel up. But that is one way of getting out using a Z-bend. Um, I saw this in a, in a manual, it was actually very clever, very clever trick, if you can't find a spoke the right size. I'm not going to have to do that with my, I'm not going to have to do this trick with my, my uh, bicycle because I've found a spoke the right length, but if I didn't find a spoke the right length I'd get a slightly longer spoke and I would put one of these in. Um, Obviously, measure it out, of course, but uh, that's how you do a what is called a Z band as opposed to a J band. Um, it's a technique. So if you're touring and you get uh, a broken spoke and you go to a bike shop and they don't have one the right length, this is something that you can do. Um, yep, so I'm going to fix to the bike and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, here we go. So through the hole. Uh, let's get it, get it in, like so, whoops, not quite right, so I've got to get it in, in we go, now, um, bend it past that, because over that, straighten it out a bit, and uh, then we pop it. Oops, gotta get it in the nipple and turn the nipple around to thread it in. So you have to get the uh, pattern right, so you have to check with the rest of the wheel to. Uh, <laughs> Straighten it out a bit. Okay. And when we tighten this, we're going to tighten it up in uh, small little increments to because uh, I don't want to. I want to get it trued up on the uh, bicycle. It would be the next thing. So because I need to. Get the wheel into tree. Okay, here we go. Right, okay. Now to mark the spoke so I know which one it is that I need to true up. I've just got a bit of old wire, you can use a bit of tape or something. I'm just going to mark it temporarily, like Sue. Just so I know which one to true, and then I'll take it off once I'm done. Let's put it on the bike and true it up. Okay, so managed to true it up. And uh, what I did was, I didn't bother with the uh, little uh, adjustable spanner. It was uh, getting a bit frustrating. So I invested in one of these, only cost like a couple of pounds off eBay. They're sort of like a little spoke. Um, nipple thing and you can just find the right size and stick it on the spoke and give it a twist. Um, 
there's a few videos I followed to true up a wheel. Um, I'll link them down below. I've put a, a link for one of these. You do yourself, if you're going to fiddle around with a wheel like this, do yourself a favour, get yourself one of these. Um, so, yeah. Uh, always wanted to, to true up a wheel before, so I had, had a golden opportunity. Good to learn new stuff. Um, so till uh, the next vlog, thanks guys.